Hello, my name's Dave Beck. I used to be a student at Bangor University. Um, now, I left school with no GCSEs. I think I got one in art, and I'm not a very good drawer. Uh, I used to work as a milkman for 10 years uh, and a bricklayer in Manchester. And one day, poof, light bulb moment, I think I want to go to university. Now, uh, my wife said, which university do you want to go to? And to be honest, the first one I could think of was Bangor. And that was because we used to go there on holiday every year and used to drive past university thinking, that looks like a beautiful place to, to be a student. And it really was that was the thought process behind me wanting to come to Bangor University. But let me tell you, it works out extremely well. So I'm currently working uh, as a lecturer at another university back in uh, Manchester. I work as a lecturer in social policy. Um, <clears throat> now it, it was a module that I did in the second year when I was an undergraduate, which really got me interested in, in social policy and sociology, trying to understand the interactions between people within their community and society and, and the, the impact of poverty was what really, really interested me. I did a module in my second year called Poverty and Social Exclusion. Uh, and really this was something that pulled me up into the social sciences because at the time I was studying, studying geography, but it, it was something that was really, really, I just thought, wow, this is such a fas fascinating subject to try and understand how individuals fit within their society and, and what society says about individuals as well and how we can conceptualize people's fit within society. So after my undergraduate degree I was offered the opportunity to to do a postgraduate degree and this was within the School of Social Sciences and I did a dissertation looking at food banks now food banks at the time in 2012 uh, there were very little heard of but it was something that I wanted to do uh, it was something that I'd heard of and after using a food bank myself, it was something that I thought, well, what is this? You know, how, why are these important to social sciences and, and how can we understand where food banks are coming from? I was then given the opportunity to continue this as a PhD. Now, for somebody who left school with no GCSEs, given the opportunity to do a PhD was like, wow, that, that's brilliant. Um, <clears throat> and I continued looking at food banks at a doctoral level um, and it, it was it was phenomenal. Um, if it wasn't for Bangor University, I don't think I would have had this chance anywhere else because Bangor was such a small university. Um, it became part of your life and I was very much involved in the university, both as a student, but also as a member of staff. Uh, I worked for several departments in the university, most notably the School of Philosophy, uh, history, philosophy and social sciences as a teaching assistant whilst I was studying. So I got the chance to teach actually on the same subject that brought me up to social sciences in the first place. I was actually, I, I led a couple of sessions uh, every year on the module Poverty and Social Exclusion. Uh, I've become very well embedded with the teaching staff. Uh, I've got many friends who are your lecturers at the University of Bangor. Uh, I still speak to them regularly. Uh, you may even see me every now and again if I get invited back up to do guest lectures, um, particularly on my subject of poverty and social exclusion. Uh, but I used to work for the Students' Union as well, um, trying to understand that fit with students and, and community and the university was something that really, really interests uh, me. So please do make the most of your time at Bangor University because it can lead down some fantastic routes. Um, just knock on doors, speak to people, speak to staff, they're all, all very approachable. Um, just speak to them, ask them, find out stuff and trust me, it usually works out very well.